Hey, what's up guys? Well, let's go back here and today we are going to be playing some Evolve Shaman. I forgot to write the name of the deck here. Uh, Evolve Shaman. Uh, the reason we're playing Evolve Shaman is honestly, I was looking through decks that I've played on the channel and I, I, I felt I just wanted to play Evolve Shaman. I don't think it's going to be good. We're going to get smoked by Disco Lock, but you know. If that doesn't happen, it'll be good for us, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things to say. I'm not too sure if there's anything else that makes sense. Um, I thought about cutting Healing Rain for the newly buffed... Uh, what's it called? Healing Wave. So you guarantee 8 heal, and then if I do, like, flip... Mogu, I kind of win. Um, same thing like for the most of the cards, but I think for right now I'm gonna keep healing rain. I just know that it might be better to play healing rain. Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. Or guys, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the first one. Alright. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna queue the muck pool because I think it's really good. Disco lock. Devolt can actually be pretty good. Because if they do go an early merchant, um, Devolt is actually an answer to it, which is pretty nice. So, it's gonna be interesting to see if it works out. Hopefully it will. I'd also really like to draw a Fire Mancer Flurg. That'd be another really, really good draw. Even though that the odds are fairly low, but if it does happen, we're in a very, very good spot. Uh, holding Toxin and whatnot. It helps a lot in the matchup. Hopefully, yeah, that's not the card I was hoping that he would play, but I feel like I can beat that one. Akat is an interesting draw. Like... I think here I'll just play it a little bit slowly. Just do this and this. I hope it's good enough. I mean, I doubt it's going to be, but next time I get two four drops, which is pretty nice. And if I do top, top deck and evolve, I get five drops, which is not bad at all. Right. There's a merchant. The fact that he actually had the soul barrage is really good for him. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to hit him with the default here. He loses out on this. That's just really good for me. And he low rolled these, which is also not bad. I wanted to get a four drop right away. That was unfortunate. There's much better things to evolve into, which is why that was so unfortunate. The real the reason I also want to do this is that depending on what he plays, I can freeze a minion. And then draw a card to keep trying to draw through my deck a little bit, maybe hit an evolve or whatnot. Top deck to Soulfire, really? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I am also fairly lucky though that out of everything he's played, right, he's kind of down with like three less spots on board. That's a very interesting draw. He's gonna probably play something else this turn. He might trade the two one into my two two. Oh, oh he played a location. Okay. Uh, I want to play this, but I'm like really low. I should just go for six drops here. I can also get a 10 drop. I got one 10 drop because the stats on it should be insane. And I'll turn this. That's huge. Having a top mini here is really, really good. Okay. Hopefully he hit like a silver golem I can easily beat. 
Yeah, that's not ideal. Uh, Healing Rain would be a very, very good draw here. Bro, really? That was insane sequences of draws. He's out of burn, which is good for me. Bro, what? What just happened? The RNG on that turn was so insane. Roll, low rolled the one in five of the fist hitting my face. The soul barrage hit me in the face for four. Fucking the arcade missiles hit my one taunt minion. And then me in the face for two. I have five minions this entire time. Or four minions this entire time. The sequence of top decks of top deck fist. Toss it to location. Draw, what was it? Uh, buff my board plus soul barrage discard. What the fuck? What in the actual fuck was that? I don't even know what to say. That that should not have happened. I'll be honest. I would love if someone did the math for everything that happened on that game or on that turn because it's in like the low 1% of everything that happened, those top decks, all that type of shit. Low, low, low 1%. Like I'm talking about like 0.01 type shit. Bullshit. That's fucking insane. Oh well, I mean, it happens, but that... That was wild. And it's, yeah, with that being said, let's uh, cue up the next one. Alright. Rogue is an interesting matchup. I'm going to keep Primal... I don't want to keep this, but I'm going to just keep this. I'm going to keep this because not is my only spell is not evolve in the deck. There's also the healing rain. Oh, that's such a big draw. Actually huge draw. If I can survive the turn four, this is a huge draw. Like now I kind of want this to get me healing rain. I also got a totem, which is pretty nice. Random two drop. I hit the low roll totem, the one that is most likely to die. I'll trade it into something. That should be fine. Curious to see what he's playing. No turn one play kind of tells me it's not pirate, and it might be, um, it's not pirate or mech or quest. It might be, uh, Edwin. Or it is mech. Interesting. Oh, so also defaults that this can draw. We actually did hit the evolve. We're not really like we've probably lost this game. Not having a way to kill that. Yeah, we're we're dead. <laughs> There's no nice way for me to put it. We're just dead. Yeah, we're there's zero. Zero percent of the time we win this game. He high rolled to fuck. We didn't hit the devolve. Maybe I'd top deck devolve now. I don't even know if that would do anything. Maybe draw ice fishing. Even then ice fishing doesn't do shit. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. And he has the removal and like bro. What am I losing to today? Like this is actually insane I feel. Like I feel like what I'm losing to is not normal. Like, come on.
I mean, don't know what I could have done there. I, it doesn't even do anything. One, two, three, nine, nine plus eight, seventeen. I guess I take seventeen, and I hope I top deck fucking Doxin next turn. I should have don't want to believe that this is real. 23 He's one damage away from lethal Well, he also had the burn spell I mean It's uh I know I'm not playing a serious deck but on turn three, he played out seven cards from his hand and then played a rogue's passage and played another seven cards off the rogue's passage as well as drew three cards. Turn three, he had one creature on board beforehand, ended with 17. Turn three. That is beyond ridiculous both of these games i don't i don't know if these games could have gone worse like straight up i don't know if they could have gone worse maybe i'm overreacting but what just went down in these last two games is wild anyways uh let's uh keep the next one and hopefully not die on turn four all right yeah yeah let's 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 hopefully not have someone play half their deck on one turn on turn three all right yeah anyways that being said i'll see you guys all in the next one all right warlock uh arm all everything besides the sweet Okay, this is an actual game where I feel like we can actually try to do what our deck wants to do and evolve some random shit and hopefully get a big boy that does something. F I forgot Discard Warlock is the deck that it probably is. Hate life. Maybe a top deck Toxin, even then, as we just saw last time, we just die from hand. It's wild, then. Yeah, this, you'll have that in your opener every time. Oh, and you drew Felbat. Or Frenzied Felbat. Felwing, whatever the fuck his name is. Like, stop it, I'm staring. That was the worst thing I could have fucking gotten. <laughs> My three drop doesn't even trade here, man. My de evolves have also been really fucking bad today. Let me guess. Second Soul Barrage. Ah. Fuck. Why is that there? I wish I had my weapon. That would be fun. And useful. I, I had to kill that. I had to burn it here and just hope it was good enough. Alright, there's an evil. That is pretty good for me, all things considered. I have to do this here, right? I don't like this at all, but I have to. I don't have a way to summon multiple dudes for this. Oh. 
just do this. I mean, hope it's good enough. I'm surprised he didn't take the free trade into my F there. Like if I if, if I think if I was him, I would have taken that free trade every time. By the way, I think the nerf that's coming to Disco Lock is this is dropping one health. There's only has two activations. I have a feeling that's gonna be the big uh big nerf it gets. Out of 5-7, taunt goes to your hand. Okay. I mean, at least it's a taunt for right now. Um, well, there goes my 5-7. Okay, that wasn't the worst. That was basically worst case scenario. The fact that it wiped my, it killed my 2-2. I mean, statistically, that's what happened. Um, I took a little bit more damage than statistically I would have taken, but that's fine. Oh, I can go Brilliant Macaw, Evolve, see what I get from there. Does this summon Doppelgangsters, or does it summon copies of this? That sounds copies. I guess I just have to go for this here. The one and four here to hit a taunt totem. I'm feeling I'm dead. Very, very strong stinking suspicion. I'm just fucking dead here. I'll take trades where I can, try to get some amount of value trades. But, like, I should be able to get some amount of them. Especially with this in hand and shit. But. Okay. Don't know if I'm able to get this or this is the problem. I can't easily. Unless maybe I high roll on this and I can. Evolves is a huge card. Super, super big. That can punch there. That can go there. That can go there. Go there. I heal off this, which is really, really nice. Like, I got five more armor for a little bit more health. That's huge. Oh, crap, that's not really a thing. Holy fuck. Okay. I was gonna evolve the meat wagon there to get something bigger. And then, like, I looked at my board. Probably found whatever is the smallest that wasn't a taunt minion. And evolved that, hoping to hit a taunt minion. Oh, that game was something fucking else. Like to, like to be fair, like this game I felt like my opponent had a fairly good draw. I felt like my draw was also fairly good. And like not neither of us did shit that was over the top, right? Man, like that that felt like a good game. That felt like a good game. Anyways, uh with that being said, let's uh cue up the next one. Alright. Um, Priest, I'm assuming it's going to be... I want to assume it's going to be, like, a control deck. Like, I'm going to assume it's going to be a control deck, and I can keep this whole hand. If it's... The Toxin is good if it's aggro, right? If it's Shadow Priest. Toxin is good if I top deck Pyromancer. If it is control, like what it's looking like... The Thrall is really good. So is... Uh, the muck pool, so... Hopefully it's gonna be good enough to win the game. Hopefully. I actually really like this card here. Play it, I'm gonna evolve it. Oh, there's an actual evolve. I will need to draw... That's good. 
big fucking boy here to block. Um, I do need to draw something that does something. Um, that'd be like very nice hair or whatever. That's a good one. Active next turn healing total. I'll force him to use this mana next turn. The hero power it. So this I can go Baroness. Do I want to wait for Baroness? I kind of do. Because he can be holding removal. But at the same time, I feel like the longer I wait, the worse it's going to be for me. And if he doesn't remove it, to be fair, it is huge. It has fucking six health. If to kill my 2-5, he had to fucking hero power it twice. I feel pretty safe with the Baroness. And this way, next turn, I can go Thrall. I'll get a seven or a six drop, and I'll get a seven drop from what I this guy, unless he kills this guy, and then go from there and see what the fuck's happening. Hopefully, it's gonna target this and then try and kill this. I should have put this on the other side. In, in reality. Oh, he didn't get something that kills us, which is beautiful for me. I don't want to punch with that at all. I guess here's just weapon. Weapon so I can actually kill it. Not miss damage with these guys. It's mostly these two, because you will lose damage if you try to evolve them. This is one of my favorite uh, mage cards in the game. Key Warden is so much fun to play. If you guys go back and watch a couple of my older um, videos I played playing uh, this deck, you guys should know how much I fucking love this. Or not this deck, but... Um, why can't I think of the name of the deck? Also, Hyrule and this was huge here. Hopefully this works how I want it to. It does not. Feels bad. Uh, I like Car uh, Karen is one of the things here. So like I can punch here to evolve this. But I don't really want to lose this. But yet this and this are kind of bad. Fuck it. I'm going to cry when I don't get something good. Morg is huge, but again, like, this is, like, super low stats for the mana cost, so... I guess Thrall is fine. It's not perfect. I do potentially lose out on this 8-8. Eight eight. Okay, that's not the worst. Stat-wise, this feels fine. Death Thrall deals 3 damage to all enemies. It puts him down to 1. This is the strength of Evolve Shaman. Is that if it typically gets one card that gets to stick on the battlefield for a turn, that's that's what it's gonna win. Going back to the keyword in Ivory, I used to love playing it in the LPG, Little Pocket Galaxy Mage. It was so much fucking fun. It's so much fun. I loved it. Uh, sadly, the card is a little bit slow to continue playing nowadays, but who knows? Next time I play that deck, I might uh, I might try to slip one in. You know, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. Alrighty, another Warlock, which means it's another fucking what's-his-face. This whole hand is fairly good against this Golok. Actually, one of the things I did kind of want to talk about, uh, I think it was in yesterday's video, in the comments, I got a comment saying, oh, how do you beat discard Warlock? Um, I feel like that's a trick question. The answer is you don't, but... <laughs> Overall, in my opinion, the the easiest way I guess I've found to beat them is you need to get ahead early. You do you cannot win that game if you're behind on turn like four or five. It it feels so impossible. So you need to be playing a deck that is just as fast, if not slightly faster than they are, as well as play a deck that has enough healing and redundancy type of shit like that in order to survive. One of the decks that can do that, and I think one of the reasons it is so popular at the moment, is the Odin Warrior deck. 
uh, you gain so much armor in that deck. You have so much removal that, for the most part, you can kind of deal with anything they throw at you just based off the fact that, you know, you're playing a game where you kind of play with, like, 90 health. The deck that is really good at doing, like, 40 will work. All of a sudden, it doesn't work in the... Bringing me back. Okay. Um... What is this? I have not seen this card in a guy's deck in a hot minute. An Iron Peak Owl? Love that card. It's great. Uh, next card is probably be Coin, play to Knuckles, Punch, and then this way I could go Double Gangster after that and Punch. And probably hold the Evolve for a turn. Um, no, that sucks. Uh, hmm. I still kind of want to coin out the, the, the Knuckles, but I feel like I can play it a little bit slower. May I hit Taunt here? Or plus attack? Plus attack would be nice as I get a buff this. It would force a hit hit. Because or else I can just poke, 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 poke type shit, so, you know. Uh, here he might send both of them into here. That is something I do see happening. Um, unless he has removal. Oh, that's so bad for me. That on five is such a good card. So fucking good. Yeah. I guess I can please, it's fine. I won't keep this alive, so I'll buff all of this again. Also, I don't really have any good... I guess I had one one drop that was... kinda good. This is not looking great. Also, by the way, I hope everybody has a beverage. I am currently drinking myself a Coke. I don't think I said that yet this video. So, yeah, I hope everybody has a beverage. Uh... All right, so. Looks like I have to play this one here. Do this here, this here, this here, uh, this here. We'll probably evolve this. Don't do this. It sucks that I lost. Are you considering that option? I'm bad at him. It sucks that I used up every charge of my weapon, but you know, it happens. Man, what a fucking classic card. The skeleton knight. I remember a lot of people try to get this kind of work in standard when it came out. It used to be a huge cut in arena though. I miss the joust mechanic. It was pretty cool. I, that's one of the things I miss about older Hearthstone sets I've, I've been finding recently is there is so many cool meme cards in the older sets where we don't really have those anymore. It kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Oh, he's Abyssal Curse. Feels bad. Oh damn, that's unfortunate. I fucking lost everything. I'm just gonna take the extra one damage from this. That was, that was a really, really bad evolve. Like, really bad. Turned a 7-7 seven, seven into a 4-6. Not exactly ideal, but, hey. Huh. Hmm. Losing the file is really good for me. So I'm assuming it's Reno. I'm actually seeing the Iron Beak Owl. Why is it Iron Beak Owl? 
Like, the more I'm thinking about this, the more it doesn't fucking make sense for it to be Iron Peak Owl. But I like it. It brings me back. Something I can play now. Or I can kill now with my hero power. Or my face. I really got a 1-1. One, one. Got this guy again. Got both of these guys again? That's fucking wild, then. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, a twisting or... Something like that. He could have... Technically, movement of wrath. He lost the file. I feel like he's played all of his big board wipes that I can think of off the top of my head. I think so. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, no. There's the deal four that's left that does kill most of my board. Oh yeah, the one one dies after taking damage. Oh, he's not Reno. Interesting. I would have generally thought they were both, uh... Yeah. I would have thought they were both, uh... I should have evolved the 5-5 five five from done. Oh, I should have also healing Reno. I did not realize I was at 9. I'm dead to like half of his deck. I'm at four. So I'm like dead to like fucking two abyssal curses. Yeah, okay, I've lost this game. I felt too far behind. Why the fuck is that over there? Is this on the field? I don't even know if that one's on the field or not. I'm gonna kill it just in case. Oh, I guess he was on the field. Alright. I wanted to build somewhat of a board. That's why I just kind of played everything. Let me get taunts. Oh, I guess not. my 1-1 one, one into a 1-2. Let's go. It's such a good card. Uh, what do I still have that can get me lethal? I guess just Pillager. Pillager doesn't even work. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just dead. Oh, well. You know, I'm perfectly fine losing this game. 100% perfectly fine losing this game. Uh, he played it very, very well. Can't complain. We'll say. The only thing that could have came to mind is if I would have held off on this. Slam Doppelgangster. Evolve twice. No, even that's only 7 drops. I would have needed to hit uh, 8 drops and I could have technically high rolled like double rag. Shot in the face twice and had that be good enough. But the odds of that were so fucking low and I think maybe impossible. But yeah. Oh well. I, I mean, still did good. We went 2 and 3 for a meme deck that I had zero hope in doing really, really well with. I'm fine with that. Uh, I wanted to reroll this. I never finished this one last week. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I've been really bad. I, I've, I've been kind of taking like a little break away from playing Hearthstone every single day. Um, 
Like, I, I basically play just to make videos. I, I've been doing that for, like, a week just to not get fully burnt out of the game. Uh, but I, I've, I've been getting that itch to get back to playing it, so there's very high likelihoods I start playing a lot more. It's also the main reason why I haven't been streaming that, and I've been busy and whatnot, but I do want to stream more. I... I was thinking about doing it today. I've been hungover all fucking day. I had my friends over. I had, a, had maybe a couple too many beers. Had a, we had a good time, but I definitely drank a lot yesterday. And I and I was hungover all morning. Super pounding headache. Fucking lied in bed for five hours straight, basically. <laughs> had a good time the night before, but you have to pay the consequences sometimes. So I'm going to try for tomorrow. And I'm going to try for the day after that. No guarantees, but I will try. Anyways, Evolve Shaman. Deck is really fun. Deck is not great, but really fun. You lose to Discard Warlock most of the time, but so does every deck in the game. And yeah, not much else to say. So yeah. Anyways, with that being said, I'm trying to spend less time in the collection at the end. I feel like I've already spent a lot. So with that being said, I hope you guys all, all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one, where hopefully we will get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. Peace.